Hi friends, welcome to Simplify Maths. Today we are going to learn linear equations in one variable, chapter 2, exercise 2.1 for class 8 in CRT book. Before getting into the problems, we need to know certain formulas. Already these formulas I have posted in my old videos, algebraic expression videos and also in shorts. You, you can watch it there also. Now, addition formula. Addition formula means if you want to know A, have A left side and C transposition will happen here. C minus B. That means this B will come here. Minus B. If you want B, transpose A here. Keep B as it is and transpose B here, A here. So C minus A. So by this formula, we, you can easily find, solve the equation. Subtraction formula. If you want to know what is A, have A left side and transpose this b right side so c plus b negative becomes positive if you want to know b what we need to do a transpose the c here minus c equal to transposing b to the right side becomes positive b that means b equal to a minus c this is the value of b value of a is c plus b Multiplication formula. How to do this? If you want to know what is A. If C and B values are given means C divided by B. That's all. If you want to know the value of B. C and A values are given. Have B left side. C divided by A. This is called multiplication formula. Next division formula. A by B equal to C. If you want to know A, A is equal to C into B, right? If you want to know B, what we need to do? From here you can solve. So B is equal to A divided by C, just cross multiplication, that's all. So A is equal to C into B here. I can teach you like this, see here, A by B equal to C, denominator is, if nothing is there means it is called 1. So A into 1 is equal to B into C. So A equal to B into C. Okay, here. Similarly, if you want to know B means here it is 1. So again cross multiplication will happen. B is equal to A will be here. The C will come down as a denominator. So this is B value. And this is A value, B into C or C into B, whatever. Both are equal only. If you know all these formulas thoroughly, then only you can easily find the solution of the given equation. First question, solve the following equations. We are going to solve all these equations one by one. It's very easy. I'm going to use transposition method here. Let's start. X minus 2 is equal to 7. See, here we need to find the value of this variable x for that what we need to do is have x left hand side and take all the numericals in the right side so for that what we need to do 7 is already there we are going to take this 2 here so this negative 2 becomes positive 2 right x equal to 9 so the value of x is 9 if you want to check your answer, just to put this 9 in the question. 9 minus 2 is equal to 7. So, same thing. 7 equal to 7. So, it is verified. Here, y plus 3 is equal to 10. How to do this? Have your variable left hand side and take this 3 right hand side. That's all. So, positive 3 becomes negative 3. y equal to 7. Next question, 6 equal to z plus 2. So we can write like this, z plus 2 is equal to 6. We can write RHSS, LHS, LHSS, RHS. Now, z equal to 6, taking this here, minus 2. z equal to 4 is the answer. This is our solution. Now, this one, we are going to find the value for x. x equal to 17 by 7, taking this right side, minus 3 by 7. Denominators are equal. So, we can have a common denominator. 17 minus 3. This gives us 14 by 7 which is equal to 2. If we cancel 2 times, right? So, 2. x equal to 2 is the value of this variable. 
Fifth question, 6x equal to 12. x equal to 12 divided by 6. So, x equal to 2. Using 6, we can cancel. 1 times 6 is 6, 2 times 6 is 12. So, x equal to 2. Here, t by 5 is equal to 10. Have t left side. By using division formula, it becomes cross multiply will happen. 10 into 5. So, t is equal to 50. This is the answer. Seventh question, 2x by 3 is equal to 18. So, 2x equal to 18 into 3. Cross multiply, right? x equal to 2x equal to 54. x equal to 54 divided by 2. This gives us 2 times 7 times. So, the value of x is 27. Now, we can write like this. We can write like this. y by 1.5 is equal to 1.6. So, y is equal to 1.6 into 1.5. y is equal to 2.4. This is the value of y here. 7x minus 9 is equal to 16. So, have your variable left side. Have all the numericals right side. So, 16 is already there. So, take this minus 9 right side. So, minus becomes plus 9. 7x equal to 25. x equal to 25 divided by 7. The value of x here is 25 divided by 7. If you want to check whether this is right or wrong, just substitute the value of x in this equation. That's all. See here, 7. Instead of x, just give 25 by 7 minus 9 equal to 16. If we cancel, this becomes 25 minus 9. 25 minus 9 is 16. 16 equal to 16. LHS equal to RHS. Thus proved. Both sides are equal. So, x equal to 25 by 7 is the solution of the given equation or root of the given equation. That's all. Easy, right? If you like the video, do subscribe our channel. I will meet you in my next video. Exercise 2.2 of linear equations in one variable. Thank you.